I don't think she understood what I wanted. I mean, I needed guidance. And she told me to take up water skiing. Needless to say, I didn't get the job. And all he can hear is his own breathing. And he's totally overwhelmed at how big the world is. And how small and unimportant he is. We love the vehicle. Hold on. Okay, I'm ready. Let's talk price. All right, here we go. So, Daniel, we've been meeting for three weeks now. Whew, time flies, huh? So it says here, you're receiving our treatment regularly. And no significant progress. That's all right, we have all the time in the world. I don't suppose you'd like to tell me why you did it. <sighs> Daniel, we're not going to get anywhere if you don't open up to me. We're all trying to help you. You can trust me, Daniel. Hi. Come on in. Hi, Madeline. So good to see you. This is my husband, George. How's the book coming? Oh, you're writing a book. How lovely. What's it about? Well, in short, it's a modern rendition of Sartre's nausea. Oh, it sounds so interesting. I just love smart men. Sarah, has anyone ever told you you look exactly like your father? My grandson's only nine years old, and he asked me how to count cards. <laughs> yes, George, he's got to have someone to look up to. I don't know, aren't you supposed to ask me what I'm missing, or are you going to save me or something? 